in this video we are going to derive transfer function from the state model for example if you are having a state model that means state equation and output equation of a system then you can derive the transfer function of the system so how we can derive transfer function of any system from the state model that we will discuss it now so here for example you are given with your state model state model is nothing but as i told you state equation along with output equation my state equation will be x dash of t is equal to this is nothing but d by dt of x of t is equal to c into x of t plus d into u of t this is state equation and for example for, uh, earlier what you considered is a into x of t plus b into u of t like that only if you want to consider you can consider or if you want to consider other variables also you can consider or you can you want to consider like same also you can take a into x of t plus b into u of t earlier you consider like this so that's why i am changing this coefficients but naming the coefficients is nothing you can take a or z or d or anything but the process will be same so here x dash of t is equal to a into x of t plus b into u of t this is your state equation now coming to your output equation that is y of t is equal to c into x of t plus d into u of t so these two equations are said to be state model from this state model you need to get your transfer function transfer function is nothing but output transform by input transform so with which reference we got this state model we got this reference from a model that is multi input multi output system which is having inputs and state variables and we are having output so here inputs we consider like u of t and this state variables we considered with x of t representation and output variables we considered with y of t representation so here output by input to derive the transfer function what we need to get y of s by u of s form if you are having output transform by input transform form then we can say that is the transfer function of the system now we need to get that form for that first of all i am going to consider laplace transform of equation 1 so here in my analysis so in this derivation first of all i am going to consider laplace transform for equation 1 on both sides so here i am considering laplace transform of the equation 1 so for this equation 1 if you consider laplace transform laplace transform of d x of t by dt is equal to s into x of s minus x of 0 so this is equal to a into x of s plus b into u of s now here i am sending this x of 0 to this side and i am sending this a into x of s this side then s into x of s minus a into x of s is equal to b into u of s plus x of 0 now here s into or si i can take because this is identity matrix when I am writing like a matrix I can take SI SI minus A into X of S is equal to X of 0 plus B into U of S I just need X of S here I just need X of S so this is equal to X of 0 into SI minus A whole inverse plus b into u of s into x si minus a whole inverse i am writing like this b into si minus a whole inverse into u of s you can see this will become 1 by si minus a that i can write si minus a whole inverse 
So now this x of s I am going to substitute in the Laplace transform of equation 2. So take Laplace transform of equation 2 and substitute and substitute x of s value. First of all Laplace transform of equation 2 will be y of s is equal into c into x of s plus d into u of s. So this is Laplace transform of equation 2. In this in place of x of s I am going to substitute all these things. So that means c into so in place of x of s I am going to substitute x of 0 into si minus a whole inverse plus b into si minus a whole inverse into u of s plus d into u of s. You will get like this. And now for example the transfer function at 0 is equivalent to 0. So the transfer function at x of 0 yes if s equal to 0 if x of s is equal to 0 then what will happen the remaining thing is y of s is equal to so here you will get c into c into so here the remaining thing is b into si minus a whole inverse into u of s plus d into u of s this is what you are going to get so c into if this is 0 this whole thing will be 0 then remaining you are getting like c into b si minus a whole inverse into u of s so plus d into u of s this is what you are going to get so here what I am doing is I am taking common of this u of s in these two if I take in common of this cb into or c into si minus a whole inverse into b plus d so like this we can take u of s as common finally what we require transfer function transfer function is nothing but output transform by input transform in our system which given this state model the output is equivalent to y of t and input is equivalent to u of t output transform will be y of s and input transform will be u of s by taking y of s by u of s form you are supposed to get your transfer function so finally y of s by u of s is equivalent to so here c into si minus a whole inverse into b plus d this will be transfer function from your state variables transfer function from your state model and here whatever si minus a whole inverse is there that we can take it as phi of s sometimes it will be represented like si minus a whole inverse and phi of t your state transition matrix will be represented with so phi of t is equivalent to inverse Laplace transform of si minus a whole inverse so this we can take it as e power a t also why because si si means s 0 0 s minus a means s minus a 0 0 s so like this if you consider so this is nearly equivalent to e power a t form this is equivalent to e power a t so e power a t also called as state transition matrix this is equivalent to means sometimes they will give you what is the nearest equivalent of inverse transform of si minus a whole inverse means you can take it as e power a t so e power a t will be equivalent to state transition matrix like this way this is not important this is very important for this topic that means how to derive transfer function from a state model means this is what you need to get so this is what we need to show at final so this is your transfer function from your given state model